Hey guys, today I'm going to be filming a nail polish collection. And just so you know, my nail polish collection changes like every single week, so this is just what I have at the moment. And it will change, so yeah, and I hope you like the lighting, because um, I just have like a lamp there. Sorry if I'm blinding you. My other makeup's like there and stuff, but yeah. So let's get started. Sorry if I... Okay, I'm, I don't know how I should do this. Alright, so starting all the way in the back, I have Sinful Colors in Frenzy. Another one in Cream Pink. Another one in Dream On. Another one in Cinderella. This That color is really pretty, but it's like not opaque at all. Another one in Rise and Shine. That looks blue on camera, but it's actually like a really pretty green. This is a hot pink, and it looks orange. Another one in pink. Then lastly, another one in Let's talk. Sorry, it's rubbing off. Now for my Revlon nail polishes. I have this one. This is a scented nail polish. Um, it smells like blueberries. And it is in the shade Not So Blueberry. I have a, another one in the shade Fashionista. Which looks like another color that I'll show you later. And then I have this base coat. Um, this base coat's good, but you have to let it dry like fully before you put anything else on it. Now for my two China Glaze nail polishes, I have this one in Up All Night. Up All Night. Da, da, da. Sorry, that reminds me of One Direction. Till we see. Then I have this one in Innocence, which is just a bubble bath. Then I have this mint green from Sally Hansen Extreme Wear in Mint Sorbet. Then I have this one from Sally Hansen Extreme Wear in Blue Me Away. And this does stain your nails, so do a base coat. Um, then I have another one in Fuchsia Power, really pretty pink. Then I have another one in White On, which is just their white color. Then my only L'Oreal nail polish in Now You See Me, which is just kind of like a gray blue. Okay. So now over here, sorry, all of my like... Not as expensive nail polish, it's more in the, it's like in the back. Or what I don't use as often. So then right here, this is, I got this yesterday, and it's in Stappy Sorbet, and it's the Sally Hansen Insta Dry. This is in Blue Streak. And this one is in Silver Sweep. Then I have two Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicures. And this is in Barracuda, and I don't think they make this anymore. And then this one is, um... Golded Lily, which is just a gold, chunky glitter. Then I have a Sally Hansen French manicure one. It's really dirty. Oops. But it is, in, it's, ooh, it's just their French manicure thing. It's just white with just, you know, a French manicure brush. Then I have this Art Club one, and it's just their purple color. It doesn't have a shade. Then I have another Sally Hansen, which is in the wrong spot. That should be there. That should be there. This is their Hard as Nails in not, No Hard Feelings. Yeah. Then I... Oh, I just showed you that. And then I have this Nicole by OPI, which is... It's this really pretty glitter. It doesn't look as pretty in the bottle, but on the nail, it's so... It's gorgeous. It's in Imagine If. I really like that name. Then I have this Finger Paints Polish from Sally's Beauty Supply. It's just a yellow color. It looks kind of odd on camera, but it's just a banana yellow. And it is in the shade... Art Nuev Yellow. Then I have a Del Sol nail polish. If you don't know, this changes colors in the sun. And it is in the shade Heartbreaker. And it starts out as this kind of like pinky, glittery, ruby slipper color. And it turns, it doesn't like turn like purple purple, but this turns into more of a purple color. Then my two Wet n Wild nail polishes. Um, like the labels rub off of them. See, you can even see that. But this is just in 437F. Then this one is in 454D. Then, yeah, then I have my only Butter London nail polish. I want to get more. I love the formula. It is amazing. And it is in the shade Knackered. And it's just a really pretty kind of holographic color, and it's gorgeous. 
Then I have this other color that looks like Better London, but it's actually the brand Material Girl. I got this from Marshalls. It was $2, and it is in the shade Wild Flower. Then I have an e.l.f. little mini nail polish in the shade, hold on. Oh, Fab Fuchsia. And now to my only OPIs. They're just four little minis. I have this OPI. And I'm not sure what the names are called. I only know You're Such a Budapest, which is this purple. Actually, I know some of them. I don't know the name of this one because they don't have the names on the packaging. Well, it's only on the packaging. So I have this gold color. This blue color, which is, I believe, Where's My Checkbook. But like Czechoslovakia because it's from their Euro collection. I'm not sure what this is called, but I know this is your Such a Budapest. Then I have three mini Essies, and I used to have... Okay, so that's funny that those are all next to each other. I used to have... This came in their winter collection for 2012, and I used to have this in a mini, but I ran out, and I love it so much that I had to buy full size. But anyways, this is your lead, Leading Lady. It looks way prettier in the bottle than on. Snap Happy. Um, oh, wait, where's my chauffeur? No, it's not chauffeur. Where's my chauffeur? Okay, sorry. Um, Beyond Cozy, which is a gold silver glitter. It's amazing. La Casa. Brazilian. Turquoise and Caicos. Splash of Grenadine. Over the Edge. I've never used this color, and I probably never will. <laughs> um, Sexy Divide. Beach Blum Blue. Mod Square. Go Overboard. Which is just like this color called Fashionista by Revlon. Do you not see it? Look how similar that is. That's crazy. My mom actually bought me the Revlon one, and I already bought myself the Essie, and I was like, whoa, those are similar. Aruba Blue. I love this color. Then this is the color I have on my nails. Peach Daiquiri. Playdate. This was my first Essie color and I love it. First timer. Jamaica Me Crazy. I love the name of this, but I don't really wear the color. And then I guess I'll tell you what my three clear nail polishes are. Sally Hansen Extreme Wear and Invisible. This Out the Door Top Coat by I N M in I don't know. And it's just their top coat. I don't know, they sell this at Publix. My mom just picked that up for me because I ran out. And then this I bought. This was actually in a set with this nail polish. These came in a set together and it was on clearance at Target, so I bought it. And this is in their Insta Dry and Quickly Clear, and I have owned that before and I did like it. And then I guess I'll just show you my other nail things. So I just. Oh, well, this is also kind of a nail polish thing. But this is Nail Velvet. I used to have a nail. Um, caviar but it exploded and I am mad but that is okay I never even wore it but whatever so I love this better more though it it gives your nails like this really soft texture like velvet then for my nail tools I have this nail block to it like um, the first side you even out side two smooth nail side three buff nail side four shine nail and then these are just like all my nail polishes I really need to update these because I've gotten rid of some of them but yeah, oh look how pretty this one is. This is your Such a Budapest strike right, right there. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. Oh, and this is the um, Butter London color right, oops, right there. Kind of cool. Okay. And then right here I just have my Sally Hansen coarse nail file. And just a cuticle clipper and a cuticle, I just call it a cuticle pusher downer. And then I have these Chevron in print nail decals. These are the white ones, and I'm, like, these, I'm wearing the gray ones, and then these are my gray ones. As you can see, I'm wearing the gray ones, and they are really nice. You just put a top, a top coat of clear on them, 
and they look fabulous. And I guess this other thing, I'll just show you this because it has to do with nails. I'll just go, uh, well, I mean, it doesn't really have to, but I'm going to show you them because it has to do with hands. And I, I got like five of them yesterday, so I'm really excited about them. So the, I'm just going to show you my um, Sally Hansen pocket sanitizers. I have Purple Amethyst, um, Aloha Orchid, Bella Flora, Nectarine Mint, White Citrus, Pink Lemonade, Vanilla Sorbet, which I love, and Fresh Picked. And so that is it. And I'll just do like an overview of all my stuff for you. A nail polish overview. If you have any questions about any of the color colors, just ask me. And I just like reorganized all my makeup and I really like it. And yeah, and then in here I just have like lotions. It looks like a mess, doesn't it? But it's really not that messy. Oh, it's so heavy. Oh, have my, I have so many hair products in there. Oh my gosh, go back in. Ah. And then in here just like heat tools and like combs and brushes and oops, la da da da. So that is it. I really hope you all enjoyed it. And I hope to see y'all soon. Bye.